So this video is a real quick introduction to the Renewable Resource Project. Each team just spent a couple of weeks building and designing and completing experiments to learn more about your renewable energy resource, and that was water, wind, and solar. So what you're going to do now is you're going to share what you learned with this class and maybe another class. I have to look into that. So your job is to create a multimedia presentation to teach the class about your renewable resource. Here's what a renewable or here's what a multimedia presentation requires. Um, multiple types of medium. So that could be um, all kinds of things that we'll talk about in a minute. Um, this presentation should not only share what you learned about your resources, uh, but also be creative, original, informative, and engaging. I don't want this to be a boring Google Slides. That's not the purpose of this. Uh, my expectation is that each member of your group contributes to the project in a positive, productive, meaningful way. Okay? All right, so let's look at uh, the timeline. This is just a brief draft, um, and it's maybe changed. So day one, which is today, you're going to brainstorm different types of media you want to use. You could use a video. Um, there's lots of Google um, types of applications that you can use. You could use an infographic that you create. Um, you could type text. You could do an audio. Uh, you can do all kinds of app smashing. Um, sometimes this might get carried away, so make sure you look at your time. You have a day to do this. You're going to brainstorm what you want to include in the presentation. What, so what's the most important information about solar resource or solar renewable energy resources or wind or um, water? Uh, day two, so day one's a whole bunch of brainstorming. Day two, you're going to determine who's responsible for which part of the project. And you're going to come to an agreement. That's important, agreement. And you're going to write this down so that... Um, Everybody agrees and everybody knows who's responsible for what. Um, you're going to finish up with anything from day one that you didn't get done. Um, and I'm going to look for that agreement. Um, when I get back, I'm probably going to collect it so I can hold you accountable for, for what you agreed to do. Day three and four is where you're going to create your components. Um, I would imagine you're working individually on what you agreed upon. Uh, day five, you're going to compile those components into a product that's organized, it's logical, it's concise, um, and it conveys whatever information you wanted to convey. Uh, day six and day seven, you're going to review that product, made, make any needed revisions and edits. You're going to prepare to present it, um, and you're going to determine who's going to say what. If you've already made uh, videos and audios, hopefully everybody has had a chance to speak on that. Um, if you didn't make videos and audios, then you're going to make note cards because I don't want you reading off screens. Okay. Um, this is a real brief project, uh, expectations of the project, because I want it to be open. I want you to show your creativity your ingenuity. Um, I want you to not make it boring and a typical school project. I want it to be engaging. Um, I want you to show me what you can do. Um, here's the grading rubric. Um, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, if you have questions, you can always shoot me an email. I'll respond to them as quickly as I can, and I will make additional videos that will help explain uh, my expectation. Okay. Um, good luck. Have fun because this is supposed to be fun. Um, and I can't wait to see what creative projects you make.